this is unlike any car you've ever seen before. Because no one has ever thought this way about a car before. This is strength and lightness. This is an interior that exceeds the promise of the exterior. This is technological innovation in overdrive. This is the all-new Jaguar XJ. The stunning result of taking a very different road. First of all, Anthony, how's your summer been? Uh, good, good time off. I uh, enjoyed it, but you know, it went pretty quickly, unfortunately. <laughs> what did you get up to? Uh, holiday, on the beach a lot. Uh, a few beers here and there with some friends and just catching up really with family, um, you know, most of the time. Like and you've also been recording a single, haven't you, over the summer? Uh, I personally haven't, but I've been in the video and sort of in the back, in the back of it uh, with a few other guys. It's been, it's been enjoyable. Um, you know, we were down at Twickenham doing, shooting some of the video. Um, so yeah, it should be good. Yeah, tell us about that single. What is it? What's it for? It's called With Pride, and it's for, for the charity called Rugby for Heroes. Um, you go on the, on the website. And, and, and order it. It's now on pre-order pre, pre now, um, and it's released on the 11th of September, I believe the date is. And, and what's the thinking behind it? Who's it trying to help and support? Um, service men and women who uh, come back from, obviously, art of war or, or whatever they're involved in with the Army, maybe Air Force, um, and help them re rehabilitate, um, get back into a career in, in everyday life, really. And there's quite a few of you in the rugby community that are involved in it, isn't there? Yeah, myself, Ryan Lamb, um, Mike Tyndall's getting, putting a hand in and getting involved, so that's really good. Uh, Crane is helping out a lot, you know, we've done calendars in the past and, and Crofty's been in those, so yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a great, you know, everyone's putting their hand in and, and doing their bit. And do things like that help to take your mind off the, off the pressure and intensity of, of, of the rugby? Uh, yeah, I think so. It's just another little something just to, to keep your mind and, and ticking on something else. And, and you know, you've got to have something else in your in your life other than rugby just to keep yourself fresh and, and wanting to, to get out and, and do it. I know it's people might say, you know, we're lucky to to uh, do this every day, and, and we are, and I love doing it. Um, but you know, you just need that little bit of something away from away from it just to help you, um, you know, keep yourself fresh. Now here we are back at Welford Road. Pre-season's almost over. The season's almost upon us. How much are you looking forward to the new campaign? Yeah, it's been a long, a long pre-season, sort of in a way. Um, you know, not going on tour. Um, it makes it even longer for the for, for, for the guys. Um, but you know, it's been it's been a good, good, good pre-season for the new guys coming in. And I think now is a real good time. You know, it was it was hard last week against Montpellier, um, but you know, this week's a big test for the team. Yeah, this week um, we had the visit of Lyon. Yeah. What do you know about them? Uh, not a lot. Uh, we haven't got much footage of them, obviously. But you know, they've come up from uh, they've come up to the top division in France now. They made a few signings. Uh, I believe my, a good friend of mine from Gloucester, James Bailey's there. Van Gisbergen, I think, is there. So they've made a few good signings, and you know, it should be a good test. And it's another step, it's another building block to the new season, isn't it? Absolutely. You know, it's, it's, it's a time for you know, younger guys in the team. There are a lot of young guys um, in the back line, and new guys coming mm -hmm. on. And they need to sort of put a, put a mark down. So you know, when the guys do come back from the World Cup, you know, they're not straight back in the team and we want that competition now. I suppose that makes you one of the senior members of the squad, yeah, the senior members of the team. Do you have to take on extra responsibility? Um, a little bit, not too much, I think, because the guys who, who have given, given the opportunity need to sort of step up and, and really show that they can do it, otherwise they wouldn't be given that opportunity. I think, you know, Fordy can run the team fantastically well. Um, Billy does what he can do, does what he does, really does well. And I think everyone else needs to just, just gel, and, and I think these first few games will do that. And you know, playing with a new ten and a new sort of centre partnership, we haven't really played in the centre as much, um, just a bit at the end of last season. Um, so you know, it's a good time to gel and, and, and really go out there and put sort of marker down for us sort of going forward.